All right, I'm going straight for the steel on this one. <laughs> no way. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back. Really quick, I wanna to start today's video by saying thank you because recently we just hit a pretty cool milestone here on the channel uh, that I honestly never thought was possible. So if you've been here for a while, you might remember the full auto BB gun video that we did about a year ago on this bad boy. It was a fun video, probably the funnest video I've ever made actually, just an absolute blast shooting this thing. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys actually have found the channel through that video because recently that video just passed 1 million views, which is unbelievable. Like I said, that's a milestone uh, that I never thought we would hit and that's all thanks to you guys. Without your support, obviously none of that would be possible. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But because you guys enjoyed that first one so much, I thought as my way of thanking you guys, um, we would come out here and do it again. So I recently just bought two of the very coolest full auto BB guns that I've ever seen. And when I say these things are cool, I mean it. I cannot wait to shoot these. So again, just a big thank you to you guys. And I wanna see if today we can have even more fun than we did in the first video. So let's shoot some full auto BB guns. All right, so typically on a video like this, I would start small and work my way up. But for this one, we're going straight to the coolest one because I'm literally itching to shoot this thing. So this is the MP40 full auto BB gun and I wish you were here to hold this thing because it is the realest looking and feeling BB gun I've ever seen in my life. So the MP40 is a German nine millimeter submachine gun uh, used by the Nazis in World War II. Just a really prominent firearm. I mean, everyone knows what this is or at least you've seen one of these before. Just a really recognizable gun. And it was between this and the full auto AK were the two that I was trying to decide between. Um, but the MP40 was the one that I ended up going with and I'm glad I did. So I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram trying to trick some of you guys and I think a couple people fell for it. I had one smart guy who said, is that CO2? Hey bro, quit raining on my parade. So it's CO2 powered, uh, magazine fed. The magazine release is right there towards the magwell, I believe, just like a real MP40. And what's cool about this one is it actually holds 60 BBs, which is super impressive. Uh, the CO2 goes in the bottom of the magazine here, and the velocity on this one is 450 feet per second, I believe. I'm not sure what the rate of fire is. We'll find out here in a minute, uh, but it's got a charging handle. I'm not sure if that reciprocates. We'll also find out. And then my favorite feature is the under folder buttstock that folds out from underneath this thing and you can shoot it folded or extended obviously so one more thing it also has a threaded barrel which right now it just has a barrel nut on there but you can unscrew that and i'm assuming you can put suppressors and muzzle devices on there and everything else uh, the selector lever is on the bottom of the receiver it's got safe semi-auto and full auto we'll probably just keep it on that third position for most of the video and yeah that's about it it's got a full magazine in it we're going to start with a full auto burst on my steel torso plate right here i'm sure we'll get a few ricochets but that's all right that's what i pros for these will be the very first shots i have not shot this thing yet so here we go <laughs> that is so cool Yes. And as you can see, it went through all 60 rounds, no problem. It surprised me a little bit because it's a lot quieter than I thought it was gonna be, but man, that is too much fun. <laughs> so I don't know how many shots you can get before you have to replace the CO2. I'm gonna try another magazine, but I got a shoot and see target on the railroad tie there, and I wanna see how tight we can keep our group. It's cool because it's like an open bolt machine gun. <laughs> that threw me off at first, but let's see. <laughs> I didn't sight it in, but it's actually not bad. It's a little bit low and left. Um, but whenever you're done with the magazine, you can see the bolt stays forward. What I don't like is that it doesn't stop shooting. It just continues firing. Uh, it kind of sounds different, like you can tell when there's no BBs coming out, but if you're not careful, you could just blow through all your CO2 because it doesn't stop you when the magazine runs out like the DPMS does. And there's our group, 60 BBs all at once, full auto, not too shabby. But like I said, um, we're about 10 yards away, so when I shoot other targets, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind and probably just aim a little high because I don't feel like sighting this thing in right now. <laughs> 12 ounce sodas ought to be fun. The 
couple survivors. We're gonna shoot this one with the stock collapsed. Nice. <laughs> I guess we gotta try it on semi-auto just to make sure it works. I actually got a steel plate like 50 yards away down there. I'm gonna see if I can hit it from all the way back here. Don't know if you guys can see it or not. I think you probably can. Got it. <laughs> that is hilarious. Nice. You can actually hear the velocity a lot better when you're shooting it on semi-auto because on full auto, the sound of the gun kind of overpowers the impact of the BBs. But doing that, you realize it's actually going pretty fast. So for old time's sake, we're gonna shoot a magazine through the DPMS real quick just to compare it to the MP40. The CO2 pop on this one is much louder, but the velocities are basically identical. So here we go. So the velocity of the BBs is exactly the same, but this gun is definitely a lot louder. More erratic too. The MP40 sounds more like a sewing machine, whereas this one's kind of all over the place. <laughs> All right, so as you guys know, with a full auto, two or three shot bursts are typically the best way to go so you're not just spraying a bunch of unnecessary rounds. So I got a few sporting clays. We're gonna try to take these out and then we're gonna switch guns because I got one more surprise for you guys. All right. Perfect. Finish it off. Actually, I'll just spray those cans. <laughs> Dude, these are way too much fun. <laughs> Couple ricochets got me that time. All right, now we've got another one that I was super excited to find because this will actually be the first full auto pistol that I've ever shot. So this is the Beretta M9 full auto BB gun. And once again, <laughs> It's amazing how real these things look and feel. I mean, that looks like a Beretta M9 if you didn't know any better. Even the, the markings on the grip, uh, the safety up here, just everything is super accurate on this one as well. Obviously the magazine capacity is not gonna be as big on this one as it is on the rifles. Um, I'm actually not sure what it is, probably 15 or 20 rounds, but we got a CO2 in here. And <laughs> we're gonna see what this does. It's on full auto. Uh, the slide supposedly reciprocates as you shoot, just like a real handgun, so let's do it. All right, I'm going straight for the steel on this one. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, so it locked back on the last round. I didn't hear anything hit the steel. I felt a few bounce back, so I was hitting it. The rate of fire on that is insane. <laughs> I mean, that is probably the fastest one that we've shot so far. Obviously, it went through the magazine just fine. So I actually heard one hit a tree way out in the woods, so I might have had a few go over the top of the target. But wow, this might be the most fun out of the three. <laughs> And just like a real Beretta, you got your slide release right there. So I got some sodas on the table. I'm kind of worried that the rate of fire is so fast that I won't even be able to take them all out. So it also has a full auto to semi-auto adjuster right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that down to semi-auto, take a shot on the steel and just make sure that I'm hitting the target. Okay, I don't know where it's hitting, but it's definitely on the steel. So screw it. We're gonna try to take all these out. <laughs> I think there's a couple survivors. Let's take out a couple two liters. Well, we're getting pissed on. Thank God that's a couple inches below my cameras. <laughs> Woo! And now for the grand finale.
And that's the last time I'll be shooting Twisted Tea on the channel because those things are expensive. All right guys, well that is gonna do it for me today. I got a humongous mess to clean up out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this video right here. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the support over the last couple years. Like I said, um, a million views on a video was one of them things that I looked at before I had a channel as impossible. And you kind of, you know, from the outside looking in, you think that that's like life-changing views and that's when you can just do YouTube as a career and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't work that way. It hasn't changed my life or my financial situation at all, but it is really cool and that's just a ton of people that have watched that video and, you know, found my channel. So I'm really appreciative and I thank you all because without you, none of this would be possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the new full auto BB guns. I plan on doing a lot more with these because or they're not cheap and you know I want to get the most out of them and they just make for awesome and really fun videos so I'm working on getting some sponsors for the channel so I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars every time I want to do a video like this so hopefully in the near future we'll be able to start getting some cool stuff sent to us that I don't have to buy but until then I'm glad I bought these because I will get a ton of use out of them so thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video let me know down in the comments and as always hit that like button for me guys I'd really appreciate it thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time